It's not a fire hazard, at least to me. What up, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done that in a long time, but in this video, in this very moody video, as you can see, we're gonna talk about the things that I've done that give my house luxe touches, okay? They're not always very expensive, but they're intentional. I want my place to feel warm, cozy, inviting. So if you're excited to give it a thumbs up down below, all the products that I talk about are gonna be listed in the description box down below as well. If you're gagging at this makeup look, I did the makeup in different videos on my LTK page, which is linked down below. First up are candle warmers. Now these are from Amazon. I have several of these actually. I have one right here, you can't see it, where I'm filming. I have one right there in the living room. I have one in the bedroom, one in the studio, okay? And I love them. I've gotten them at different times, so they're different. And then depending on the area of the house, I may have a white one or a black one. Either way, the light is powerful. I have had to exchange the light bulbs from time to time because they do blow out because I keep mine on all the time. Now the thing about this that I love is that it allows you to burn a candle nonstop without having to blow it out. Now, I do also have plugins. I do also burn actual candles that I light up, okay? I just love the ambiance and the scent. I love scent. My, my sense of smell is very, very sensitive. I love to smell good things, okay? But I keep these on as an undercurrent and the background to make sure that the different areas of the home smell so good. Now, you might be wondering, are the candles in each of these warmers the same? No, the different candles, okay? I know, I know. It all mixes together and it smells so good, at least to my nose. And everyone that comes over notices and makes a comment on how good it smells. So obviously it's working, okay? But I keep them on and depending on where it is in the house, I had the light cranked all the way up or maybe mid, but I mean, I have them on and they stay on. Because it's a candle warmer and it's not lit with a lighter, it's not a fire hazard, at least to me, because I mean, God, thank God nothing has happened, but it's not a fire hazard because it's a light that's on. Think of a heated lamp when you go to an event and then it's heating the food or think about, girl, even Chick-fil-A, okay? When they be giving you the chicken nuggets that have been sitting out, it's really been under a heated lamp, but it don't be tasting, it's not the same as the fresh chicken nuggets. You know what I'm talking about. So I love the candle warmers because I have underneath most of them, my expensive candles. The candles that I don't wanna be burning every single day because they cost $100, you feel me? MFK, for instance, I have 540 and I have Olive Rose right here. I love putting those candles in the warmer because it allows the candles to burn slowly. So it lasts a long time, it lasts months, okay? It's not gonna blow out in three weeks because you're burning it every single day. No, 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 okay? So put your expensive candles in those warmers. You're gonna get a longer burn time with them because it burns slowly, I mean, extremely slowly, okay? I just love these. Let's talk bedding because I'm one of those people and I know you're probably the same. Yo, growing up, what a bedding I had is just what I had. First of all, if it matched, that was cute. If it was soft, that was nice. But I just needed something on the bed. Whereas these days, I really care a lot more about how does it feel? How does it look? What's the color scheme? I like to do white. That is just the theme of the home. And it gotta be good quality. You feel what I'm saying? I'm sleeping in this every single day. I need my skin to feel good. You feel what I'm saying? So I love the bedding that I have right now. I have pieces from Bold and Brand. You've seen me work with them several times. It just gives such a luxe feel to the bed. And I've gotten a lot better with knowing how to design the bed, how to style it. Come on, your girls come a long way, you feel me? So I just love how my bed looks these days because it looks luxe. I keep my door open and I can look inside the bedroom and I'm pleased because of how it's all styled. It just looks so beautiful. I barely even wanna take it apart and go to bed. It just looks so good, you feel me? Love the look, especially the duvet that I got recently. I've always wanted a duvet, but I did not wanna have to deal with trying to figure it out. It always looks so cumbersome when I'd watch videos of creators putting their duvets together. I couldn't stand it. I was like, yo, I do not wanna deal with that. But the way that Bowling Branch has put it together, it just it's just so good. I used to have a discount code for them when I've worked with them. I don't have one now, but you never know. Bookmark it because I love my sheets. I love the bedding that I have. Have, and maybe if I work with them again in the future, roll the branch if you're watching, hello. And then you can check out and get your items with a discount, but right now I don't have that. I wish I did. Either way, I love my bedding. The pillows are from Amazon and so are the pillowcases. And nicely enough, it matches the waffle pillowcase, matches the waffle knit blanket that I have from them. Just so good. And then I topped it off with this white blanket from Target, which it just adds a different texture to it. I've learned how to put this all together and I feel so proud because I did not know what I was doing years ago. And now I do. If you are not warming your towel, towels before your shower and putting them on when you get out of the shower, what are you doing? I mean, granted, it takes a few extra steps when you're hopping in the shower, but girl, we need a luxury even at home. When I was at the Waldorf Astoria and 
Beverly Hills, there wasn't even a towel warmer, okay? I don't even know if the towel rack was heated. Was the floor heated? I don't know. I was so bamboozled that I didn't know what was going on when I was there that time. Anyway, I digress. At home, your girl is warming up towels, and let me just tell you, it's a small added step to your evening or morning routine, but it just feels so good when that towel is hot. I shower with hot water, I get it, I have dry skin, but I don't care, I need the steam, you understand me? I need the steam. But I also love that when I get out, I'm not freezing because because my towel is hot, you dig? If I'm gonna rush, I don't want my towel up, I'll be honest with you. But usually, I'll make sure I have my towels in there, turn it on, it goes up to 400 degrees, and you can determine if you want it on 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you can even do a delayed start, that's a good idea too. If you know that in an hour or so, you're gonna take a shower, you can do a delayed start, whatever your heart desires, you feel what I'm saying? And the towels get so hot. I do make sure to loosen it up, I don't put them in rolled or folded, I don't do that. I loosen it up, and then I put it in. And as long as you have it in there for a while, you're good. Like I mentioned, when I'm gonna rush, if I put it inside, it's not all gonna be heated. Just some parts are, and that's annoying. So I just know that when I'm gonna rush, I'm not gonna have a hot towel. But when I take my time, when I turn it on, before I actually go in the shower, oh honey, that towel is piping hot. Not like, not gonna burn you hot, but just so comfortable, girl. Get you a towel warmer. And it's such a great gift idea for anyone, for any occasion, okay? Now you know your girl been getting fresh flowers for a long time. I have a love-hate relationship with books because some of their bouquets be real raggedy, but for the most part, I have enjoyed purchasing from them. So I get the biggest amount, which I think is 12, 15 stems, and it's $79 a book, and I get it bi-weekly because I want a consistency of fresh flowers in the house and mm, by like 10 days or so, the flowers will look a little crazy. That's when I'm itching for my new book to come in the mail, okay? So it's door, it comes right to your door, usually from Colombia or I've seen, have I seen a Garawa? I'm not sure. Either way, it comes internationally right to your door and then you just cut off this, cut the stem, you put your water. I do ice in the water now. Every now and then I'll put in the actual bag of flower food. I don't even know if that works, whatever. And then usually I will change the water every day. I won't even lie. I I need to go change that water right now. <laughs> so I need to get better about that, but I just enjoy, I enjoy looking at them. It makes me happy. And to me, it's important to do do the things that make us happy. My happiness is not dependent upon what someone will or will not do because it's on their time. You understand me? I've talked to you about this time and time again, that we gotta figure out what makes us happy. Just like all these things that I'm, that I'm discussing right now in this video, because no one can take that from you. It's not based on how that person feels or how anyone feels, or if there is a person, you understand me? This is you waking up each day and putting these practices in place because you recognize that these things make you happy. End of story. Now I told y'all like a good luck feel, okay? So I did get the MFK, which is Maison Francis Kirjan. They're body washes and body lotions, but they can also be hand washes and hand lotions, okay? So I have the 540 scent in the guest bathroom, and then I have the a la rose here in the kitchen. So good. Now, I won't even lie to you. It's getting used more that I would prefer, you feel me? You know how you be having stuff that you wanna take out when it's company? But then you feel like, yo, I should be enjoying this on a day-to-day -day basis too. Why is it only for company? You feel me? So I've been breaking down that barrier of feeling like, oh, this is for guests. No, this is for me too. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, I said that because the 540 lotion and hand soap that is in the bathroom is dwindling down. I like when stuff looks full. So I'm just like, oh, I wish there was a refill. But anyway, I need to buy a new one. Either way it goes, it just smells so good. I'll wash my hands and put on lotion. I'll be like, hmm, do I have a 540 today? And I don't have it on today. But because I use the hand soap and the lotion, yo, it is so fragrant. Just imagine you're in your own crib and you're living the luxe experience at home. Again, it's not always about when you go to a hotel, when you go on vacation. This is the luxe experience in the crib, okay? And it's worth it. I love it. Now the entry console was one of the areas that I started designing or luxifying years ago. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but my home wasn't really a home. I, we, we just lived here. And then after a while I was like, I don't like this. I want it to feel more warm and cozy and inviting and lux to be frank. So the entryway is just always makes me so happy because again, it was one of my first areas that I started to work on. So here you can see I've got, girl, this pump us is mad old. It be shedding and stuff, but we ain't gonna get rid of this, okay? However, it's just cute, you feel me? And then we've got this bowl and the touch of the pine cones that I got from Target. And then you got the books. These are the content created books that I feel like all of us have, which hey, it's it's a look and I love it. And I always make sure I have a candle burning here. And then I've got this lamp that, to be frank, I leave on all day, 24 seven, because of the vibe, okay? It's just a vibe. And then the mirror, it just looks beautiful. When you walk into the home, again, this is all about making sure that it feels warm, feels cozy, and feels luxe. Hello? Additionally, 
this console right here. I got a year or so ago too. Love it. It's white. I don't like clutter, okay? I like open spaces, simplicity, luxe but simplistic, okay? So I don't have stuff inside the shelves. I don't like all that. Just white, nice. And then it has this electric fireplace. Again, all links are below. It can be heated, so heat can come out of it. I've never used it because I don't wanna forget that it's on. So I just keep the fire on, the faux fire on, but there's no heat coming, emanating out of it. But I keep this on 24 seven because duh, like I said, Lux vibes, hello. And then you see the candle warmer, like I mentioned, again, all for the vibes. And you also notice on the screen, you can't see it as blurred out, but I've got under, under the sea. You got undersea water activity going on, girl. Usually it's a fireplace, but it's summertime, so we have undersea water activity. You could throw on some scenic views of different countries. Whatever your heart's desire, honey, you two got it going on. Obviously, you're watching YouTube right now, so you must enjoy the you and the two, praise the Lord. Go ahead and throw that on your televisions, and it just gives another vibe to different rooms. It can be anything, really. There's so many of these displays that are options on YouTube. I just love it. So whenever I discovered it, I was like, oh, we're doing this all the time now. So I always have something on here. To be honest, we don't use the television to watch TV often. It's more background vibes. And I love that. I have the same pillows on my couch that I have in the bedroom. The pillowcases are different, however. Again, all specs and links are gonna be below. They're very plush and they're very comfortable. They are the pillows where when you when you sink into it, it's gonna sink. How do you say it? It's gonna collapse a little bit in a cozy way. Think of, think of a hotel pillow. It ain't firm, so it ain't gonna hold you sitting up if you want firmness for the back, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely choppable, okay? Because if you want your pillow to chop, it can't be firm. It's gotta be maybe in the middle, a little bit on the lower end, you feel what I'm saying? But not lower end in quality, more so just the density of the actual pillow. I love it. It's choppable. I love a good chopped pillow. I don't know that I'll ever stop loving a good chopped pillow. Again, all the vibes, just all of the vibes. This couch is actually from Home Threads. Got this couch four years ago. Home Threads, it was very expensive. I don't know if it's still available. It's definitely an RH cloud couch dupe. I'll see if I can find it. And of course, we'll link it below. I feel like all of us have this Target blanket. I have it in a cognac color. Then I've got it in this light off white color. I have the king size one. It's heavy and it's just plush and nice. I never used to have the blanket thrown over the couch like it is right now, but I actually enjoy how this looks. And it makes it easier because yes, I do have the blankets on this ladder here, but having the blanket on the couch already makes it so much easier when you go sit down. The blanket's right there. It's just a matter of just pulling it over your lap or pulling it over your shoulders and you're good to go. So this also adds another easy, simple, luxe, cozy, comfy vibe to the crib. Oh my God, we skipped the hallway. How can we skip the hallway? Your girl got the hallway lights that are remote powered, battery powered, remote, 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 censored, whatever you call it. Anyway, I love it. You can put it on daylight or warm light. What is it, what's it called? Sunlight, <laughs> whatever. It could be yellow or it could be white, cool or warm. And you can put it on a timer. They're just so good. It lights up the pictures. It lights up that hallway. It's really, really pretty. You could of course get this electrically wired into your home, but that's gonna cost a lot of money and require an electrician. Whereas you can go ahead and get a huge pack of AA batteries from Amazon and throw these up and called a cute night. I put these on from time to time. Maybe it's a gloomy, rainy day. It's actually dark outside. Then I'll put them on for a cool vibe. You can lower it down. You can brighten it up. So depending on how bright you want them to go, you can finagle it. Or in the evening, again, you want a vibe. It's a cozy situation. You can turn these on. It's such a cute touch and well worth it for sure. Now you gotta have an espresso machine, honey, because I've been hooked on making vanilla chais at home or even just an espresso, just a coffee, just anything. I love to use the milk frother. You can use that to make hot cocoa. Anything you wanna just froth up. Love the finishing touch. It is just so luxe and so good. So as you can see, I love to live a luxe life even if it's on a budget, honey, because it doesn't have to cost too much to look like it costs a lot, okay? Again, all links are below. And if you love the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other ideas, comment below and let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.